Meet James. James wants to be an airline pilot one day. James went to a state university to get a degree in aviation, and he spent more than $200,000 on his schooling. And it took five years to finish his degree and all of his ratings. Now it's time for him to start building time to reach the FAA required hours so he can start his job at a regional airline. Now, meet Mary. Mary spent $85,000 on her flight training, and then another $25,000 getting an online bachelor's degree. After transferring all of her credits from her flight training, this only took two to three years. Meanwhile, after five years, James is only just finishing his program, and Mary has already become a captain at her regional airline that her flight school was partnered with. In a few short years, she'll be on her way to the majors. How did this happen? There are many options when considering what path you want to take to reach a career as an airline pilot. If you're going to be a pilot at a major airline, you need a degree and multiple certificates. That means obtaining a medical certificate, a private pilot certificate, a commercial pilot certificate, an instrument rating, a multi-engine rating, and the required 1,500 hours of experience. All of this might be a little overwhelming. But I think it helps if you keep three things in mind when choosing which path is for you. Seniority, cost, and airline partnerships. One of the most common sayings among those in the industry is seniority is everything. But when they say seniority, what they really mean is time. The less time you spend on your training, the sooner you will get an airline job and the lower your seniority number. And at the regionals, the lower your seniority number, the quicker you can become captain. They also take precedence in flow-through programs existing between regionals and their partners at the majors. And at all airlines, senior pilots take precedence in what aircraft they want to be in, what vacation days are available to them, where they can be based, and many other factors. Seniority is everything. But what about cost? Well, flight training is expensive. Really expensive. Some four-year universities charge upwards of $250,000 for your degree and flight training. You could be spending the first decade of your career paying off your student loans, so it makes sense to find the most cost-effective path. And one of the best ways to save on cost is through online schooling. Many online programs offer the opportunity to transfer your certificates and ratings as a pilot over as credit hours. Another cost-effective way of obtaining your flight training is with an accelerated program. Accelerated flight training programs allow you to achieve all of the required ratings for a fixed cost and in a significantly shorter amount of time. And finally, airline partnerships. Airline partnerships are crucial when deciding how to proceed with selecting a flight school. Regional airlines select schools based on past student successes and form partnerships in which the airlines engage with students on a frequent basis throughout their training. These relationships lead to conditional employment as early as the instrument rating. This relationship also offers students the opportunity to get their seniority number early. Some cadet programs will assign students their seniority number while they are flight instructing, allowing you to essentially count your time instructing as time working with the airline. So whenever you feel overwhelmed about which option is best for you, keep these three points in mind. Attending a flight school and finishing your degree online allows you to get the required pilot ratings, a degree, and can help you get a job at the airlines in as little as two years. And all of this for as little as $120,000. Accelerated flight training saves you time, saves you money, and gives you opportunities you won't find anywhere else. If you're interested in an accelerated flight school, make sure to check out Thrust Flight's Zero to Airline program at www.thrustflight.com.